exactly. Mm -hmm. When your baby girl came to you and said, this, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting married, or she was having those conversations, and this is your only child, mm -hmm. I mean, how, how did you feel? I felt, I felt um, first of all, just excited, happy, okay. proud, because JR, her husband is a beast. Okay. He he's we call him he well not we call him but he's the casting king. So he's his story is amazing at you know how he uh, you know was blind at at a young age and his his auntie Jackie mm -hmm. she had started a casting back in what Ca yeah 80s? casting company in the I don't 80s? Remember. yeah it's back in yeah. the day but they're so, like the most successful black casting company in Hollywood yes nice. so it's incredible right so which is how we met actually yeah. that's how we met so let me tell you the story how they met so i checked him on the phone so he's <laughs> he's giving her an interview she's she's living with me and uh, deciding what she was going to do so so they were on the phone and she was doing a dating show so tell yeah so i was auditioning for blind date on bravo he, oh wow i know exactly oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Nah, but at that time, like my life, it was like a transition period for me. I had quit my job in TV news right. because I I wasn't feeling like fulfilled. It was very depressing dealing with fires, murders, and mm -hmm. shootings every single day and having to be at work at 3.30 in the morning. I was always sick because I was out yeah. in the field. And I was like, this isn't for me. And I felt it in my spirit that, that God wanted me to take that leap of faith. And I listened and my dad was like, you're crazy. And my mom's like, what are you doing? Like you never leave one job until you have another lined up. <laughs> so I, I had left Richmond, Virginia and I moved back and I was staying with my mom temporarily here in Atlanta. And uh, I saw the show, I applied for it. We did the interview and um, we hit it off, but it, it was he amazing. He was the casting. Yeah, he's so, the yeah. So, he's the casting. Yeah, he's casting. the casting. Right. Dating. 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 And he was amazing. I mean, dating in Atlanta is a oh. hot mess. <laughs> so let, let's start there because I, I always was like, I want to get married. I want to have a family. She's always wanted like, to that's have all five I've kids. ever wanted. Yeah, that's all I ever wanted. And so you meet these frogs and you think, maybe it could be, maybe it could be. And then they end up not being. Okay. And then you know, it's like a never ending cycle. But I feel like when you don't lose yourself throughout that process and you meet that one, it's like you're you're not tainted. Although like you still have some growing to do. Um, it only made me stronger in the end because I realized, okay. Cause at one point in my life when I was in college, I was like, I want a guy with money. I want a guy who's gonna buy me bags, oh, take God. me on trips, um, get well, my body how she, done. This is how she like, grew up. These, well, they, but that's what social media does. Mm. It gives you these unrealistic yeah. expectations, and it's like, yes, you can have those things, but you're gonna be treated like a hoe. Exactly. So I don't want that, yeah. and I, I want to be treated like a queen. I want to be respected. Yes. So build um, it. Yeah, and that's being a boss. It's building it for yourself, not just having someone like give to you and then they treat you any type of way because they're funding your lifestyle.